Hi, this is Princess Suri Wudana coming to you live from Facebook to ask the NDC government about the Upper West Regional Hostel. To the President, Your Excellency, Excellency, you were in Upper West Region a few weeks or a month and a half ago to commission the hostel. Even though you never gave the previous government, which is former President John Dermane, Mohammed government any credit, you went as far as saying that it was the former president Kufour government that started, which is okay. But <coughs> we, Wala people, or we, the Upper West people, all that we ask that we just have hospital to treat our weak, sick, and then the old. As I speak, women and children are still at the old hospital, whereby parents and their sick kids are laying on the floors in the children's hall. As we all know, the most germs infected places in a hospital are the hospital floors. And that's what women are doing. They are using their own clothes without mattress or anything. They have no bed laying on the floors. I have pictures to prove, but I just want to give the government chance to come out with what's going on. It's sad. You know, when we talk, people say that it's about party lines or whatever. Yes, my father was an NDC. I'm NDC myself. At the same time, that does not make me to see the right and wrong and will not call something that is wrong. It's wrong. We have to stand up. It doesn't matter what party you belong to. If we are to go stand in the polling stations for eight to six hours to cast a vote for a candidate we pick, and choose to lead us, we are to be able to ask questions and the leaders' duties are to respond to their people. The government is for the people and by the people. That's why we elect the, gov the leaders to begin with. Maybe there are few, uh, few Ghanaians understand this, a majority of us don't. Today I want to make it clear, the government work for the average Ghanaian, not the average Ghanaian that is working for the government is not a turn around him. So every Ghanaian has a duty to ask questions, voice your opinion when you see things that are not going the right way. When the cameras went turn off, after you showed the whole world that the hospital was working, the whole hospital is still in dark. It's sad. At the same time, I said something about we should not mix religion, traditional rule, and politics or government together. And some people were like, probably do not understand what I mean. If you look into generation upon generation, whether it comes to be the North, the whole issue in the North started with government. All the issues ever faced the Northern monarchs started from the whole government. The same MPP government started the whole thing. So it would be a good idea for us to separate distance because what the politicians do or what the governments do is that they come in and try to push the people against each other to fight so they can get their way, which is wrong. But today, human beings, we have no moral values. When they come to greed, they forgot everything in this world. They even forget that God do is this. And religion, if you go to religion, is something that needs to be separate from government too. Centuries ago, the royal family of England ruled the whole England, including some part of Africa and some part of the world. Later on, they realized the government was to be left to rule by the government and the people and the monarch to be separate from this government. The same thing apply to America. Americans realize, founding fathers realize that religion is personal. So you cannot mix religion and politics or government. It becomes fatal when you mix these two things. That's why I say these things. Because if we want to move forward, we need to have respect for our monarchs 
and religion at the same time have our government which will go well for us and well for the people because when you mix those those three things together it makes things a little bit dangerous because they try to push whether it's the church that have members and say this party does not like the church whether it's some monarch achieved somewhere that they claim that he belonged to this political political group and they will let you guys face each other and fight to forget what the focus supposed to be to begin with and then let's not get things twisted all these things that have been going on couple of this couple of weeks in ghana whether who say this and who say what is all a propaganda thing going on is the part that i'm saying that we need to separate this thing when it comes to religion politics does not mix when it comes to monarchs don't mix it with government the monarchs and the religion are supposed to be the backbone of the government. When the government needs something, he will call this, whether it's the uh, chief, kings, or the priest to come and help. But when we mix them all together, then it's easy that for that particular country to get into trouble. That's what I meant. I have respect my family, descend, I descend out of a monarch. So I have no any disrespect towards any royal family or a family or any king or a chief but that was the reason why i say distance because you say things and people will come and post things on my platform and i wanted to let people to know that if he come in peace on my platform to talk about your religion it's fine with me you can do it if he come in peace to talk about uh, chief issues what to benefit your town or your region on peace I will let you use my platform. But anything that would divide our people has no place in my platform. That's what, when I say that if anyone thinks they can mix politics, religion, and traditional rule together, they are bananas. That's what I meant. So, my fellow Ghanaians, brothers and sisters, let's not lose focus. All this distraction that is going on in Ghana about this chief and this chief is all distractions from MPP government. They are doing all this nonsense for you, every Ghanaian to forget what the agenda is supposed to be, to be able to get the basic necessity things that we all need in Ghana. Let's not lose focus on that. Let's call this things out as it is. Don't change the subject. All these things that are popping now left and right is distraction for us to lose focus. Do not lose focus. Your vote is your right. Think about that. And we should always think who is going to be able to take the country forward? Who does what for the country? Who came in and didn't do, do anything for the country? This is what you will base your vote on. It's not about what party you belong to. If that's the case, we'll stuck in the middle without going anywhere. When you vote, it's not about your party only. It's about who, who is going to improve your life. Who is going to make sure that your future children also enjoy the benefit of the country. Ghana is one of the richest resources, natural resources country. And yet our leaders are complaining every day they don't have anything. And meanwhile, they are sending thousands, millions of dollars to offshore account, sending their children to abroad to study. And meanwhile, they cannot build one primary school or a decent high school for children to go learn. They have so many gifted kids sitting in Africa, especially in Ghana, that can be in what art classes learning at. They don't have those schools over there. They have so many kids that can be engineers. They are sitting there, they don't have any, do, any of those things to start them early. You know, they have so many children that can be like computer science majors that can start early from day one, they go. They don't have any of those things. And yet they just go around fighting, pushing each other to fight, pay some few people that will come and sit on TV to be cursing people, mothers and fathers and Ghanaians We think that's politics, that is mad politics. It has to stop. Every politician, what you need to be asking the politician when they showed up, show me your agenda, show me what you have for the country. 
It's not about who can curse somebody, mother. It's not about who can curse the fully politician. It's about the country. We want to put the country first. Who can put Ghana first is what we want. It's not those people that will come and talk big, big English and go. And some claim to be Camelots of America. Uh, uh, you must be kidding yourself. Nobody at this point to call nobody in Ghana, the government can call yourself a Camelot. I repeat it. Nobody, none of you can measure to the Kennedys. I meant it. The Kennedys suffer for it, bleed for it, they sweat for it, and then fought in wars, and then save for humanity. How many of our leaders that are currently are in the government doing that for Africa, our, our own citizens? And you turn around and say, I mean, we're the Kennedys of Ghana? Oh, you must be a joke. It must be a joke. Let me repeat this again. You, nobody can measure as well for the current government what's going on in Ghana. You can never measure to the Kennedys. They pay for it dearly. And they always put humanity first. I want Ghanaians to know that don't let anybody think they are above you. We are all Ghanaians. None of them have the education more than what you guys are studying today. If the person can talk, go to abroad to study, does not make them more intelligent than you. Don't forget the focus. We need to focus. We want leaders with visions that will take this country to the next level, not the one that will be drowning the country. And when you talk, they claim you are a Republican, you are, you are MPP, NDC. So what? If I'm NDC, it doesn't mean that if I see the truth, I shouldn't talk about it. If the same thing happens when NDC come into power and do mistakes. I will say the same things that I'm saying today. I talk for the poor, for the less fortunate, for the less voiced person, people without voice. I talk for them. I talk for the blind. I talk for the weak. I talk for the sick. I'm lending my voice to those people, those less fortunate people that can fortunate people that cannot talk. I stand on their footsteps to talk for them. Enough is enough. I don't care what you guys do with the Ghanaian money, but at the same time, we are Ghanaians are entitled to get the benefit of Ghana, not the few 5%. And Ghana does not belong to any family. It's for all Ghanaians. And that's what this video today is about. And the thing that I want to ask all my followers and my friends on Facebook, please, you guys share the videos when I make new videos to reach more people. Because some people don't come on Facebook on time. If you can share it, whether it's through your messenger or whether it's through WhatsApp and share it on Facebook, I will really appreciate it. I'm talking for all of us, the weak, the less fortunate, the sick, the deaf and the blind. I'm talking for all of us. Thank you. And may the Lord have mercy on our souls and forgive us the, our sins and those who sins against us. Shalom.